Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to do an updated nursery tour. Um, we moved Quinn's bedroom into a bigger bedroom a few months ago and we've recently had it decorated. So I'm just going to quickly show you around. This sign here we had on the door of her previous bedroom. This is from Jojo, Mama BB, um, which is lovely. That was bought for us as a present when Quinn was born. So I'll just take you inside and if we go right down to the corner we have on the back of the door we've got another name plaque here that was made for us by a company called Happy Hampers and then we've got the a nappy stacker hanging up on the back of the door and this is from Asda it's the snuggle bunny range from Asda which is just lovely it's Got a nice little bunny on there and it's like a pink and white, I don't know if you can see, pink and white checkered pattern on there, which is really nice. I keep my nappies in there. And as well, we've got on there another door plaque that was um, given to us when Quinn was born as well as a present. And then on the wall above her cot, she's got these three pictures. They are again from the Snuggle Bunny range in Asda Home which are really lovely, they're uh, little canvas prints. They're just really cute, I really like those. And then on her wall here, on the other side of her cot, they're just um, glow-in-the-dark Disney princess stickers. So you've got all like pretty flowers and Ariel on there. Got your Disney princesses. And I think they actually glow in the dark as well, which is quite nice for her to look up at. And then this is her cot here. The cot that we've got, uh, we actually, this is new to us. It's not new new, we, we bought it second hand um, because the cot that we had on the side here where it transferred down into a bed, the panels here would really rattle when she moved and banged her head on the side and it was just annoying for me and I felt it was annoying for her as well. So we got the um, cot changed. This is the Silver Cross Q, I believe. I'm not quite sure, but um, I'll check that out. Then we've got, again, the, another Snuggle Bunny range fleece blanket. This is absolutely lovely. It is so soft. And Quinn absolutely loves it, but it's got really pretty detail on there. You've got your pink and white check, and you've got little pink flowers on there, and it's just so soft and fleecy on the other side. It is absolutely beautiful. And then on the other end here, this is a blanket that was made for us. I had made for Quinn, actually. This is all made from her sleep suits when she was a tiny baby. Um, a company called Sock Creations made that for us. She's made us a few things. Uh, the lady's absolutely fantastic. I'm going to leave a link for her down below. She does absolutely amazing jobs. And she's got her little nighttime teddy in there. And we've just actually transitioned her from grow bag to duvet, to cot duvet, which she's doing really well with. I thought now that the, um, the warmer weather is here, um, rather than buy a new duvet, um, grow bag for her, I thought I'll just transition her to a duvet and see how she goes. And she's doing brilliantly with it. And then down here, we still have you in the sheep. You in the dream sheep. He is lovely. We love him. And then the air wrap cot bumper that we've got. That I believe came from Toys R Us. Or babies are us. So, and then up here we've got her wardrobe. That's the only thing that I still need to actually get changed into white furniture. Um, I just haven't gotten around to getting one yet. But it's um, this is quite a small wardrobe. I actually struggled to fit everything in, so I would open it and show you. But there's quite a lot of stuff actually just shoved in the bottom. So and then up here we've got a little white lamp that came from IKEA which we don't really use. There's a um, little projector there that plays little lullabies and nature sounds. 
her balls up there for her ball pit and paddling pool and her little grow egg and then on the back wall here we've got that was in the room previously that was made for us um, by Happy Hampers again and on the other side of the wall there's another ham Happy Hampers creation made from crayons that was then in the previous bedroom and then back down here so we've got her um, bumbo seat. I need to put that in storage actually because she's um, outgrown that. I've just got Tigger sitting in there at the moment. And we still have our rocking chair, which I'm thankful to say now that she is almost 18 months, doesn't get used in the night now, just for story time. And then we've got our chest of drawers here. So we've got her projector, star projector on there that she has on at night time. And then we got these, we got these from a man in Blue Water, I believe, who was selling little coloured letters, but I haven't found anywhere I where I want to put them yet. Just glue them on somewhere, so I thought I'd just leave them on the side there. And this was actually made for us from a friend, by a friend in Ibiza last year for Quinn when she was born. It's got her date of birth. Um, and time she was born on there and her weight and in there I've just got a few little trinket items so I've got some little bits of jewellery in there this is a little baby bracelet that my mum had made for her is it in the frozen theme and I have a matching one as well so when she's older we can both wear them and these are these were little, just little bits of jewellery that were on her first birthday cake, but I thought would be quite nice to keep because when she's much older, she can, she wants to play dress up with them. And I keep this little dongle in there as well because I think I said on on one of my blog posts actually, and um, I film, I started to film a birthday message for Quinn every. I will, I will do it every year on her birthday. I did the first one on her first birthday, obviously. Um, a private message from me to Quinn and I would plan to do that for the first five birthdays and then I will give it to her and I will edit him together make a little video from them and give it to her on her 16th birthday which I thought would be a really lovely idea and then we've got a little picture on here I think that was from mother care I believe that was a present got a little picture of her in there when she was smaller and her footprint in there which was good fun to do and then we just got her chest of drawers there so I've got all of her um, vests short sleeve and long sleeve vests in there socks little knickers which are so cute they've got little frills on the bum so we've got those and what we've also got for her as well I don't know if we can see them she really loves Peppa Pig at the moment. So my mum decided on the run up to potty training when she when she's two is to get her some little knickers to start putting over her nappy. So she gets used to the concept of wearing knickers. So that was pretty cute. And then we've just got cardigans in there. It's her grow blind I put up at night time at the moment. And her little coats are in there. And then we've got blankets in the bottom drawer and then we've got her curtains again this is the snuggle bunny range they're blackout curtains and um, come with this really pretty detailed tie backs as well which are really lovely and we've got the bunting to go with it. I don't know if you can see because of the light but there you go. I've got the bunting that just kind of drapes in front of the curtains. Actually, I don't know if you can see, I had to put Velcro on the top around my window frame because the my grow blind doesn't stick to my window. So I use the Velcro sections and I put Velcro around the edges and I just Velcro it on top of the window. This little creation here, 
I made myself for Quinn out of one of my socks. It's a little bunny I made full of rice. It was just like a, my, a first attempt of making one. I thought I'd get a bit crafty one day. Got a little, little bow on there. Little stick-on diamantes. I put those on with a hot glue gun. She's got a little scarf as well. I thought that was quite cute for her to look at in her bedroom. And then this side we've got a little embroidery picture up there. That was in her bedroom previously as well. This abacus she got for, I think this one she got for Christmas because obviously her birthday is so close to Christmas. I, I forget what she got for Christmas and what she got for birthday. But I believe uh, my mum bought her this abacus for Christmas. So that's up there. And then her camera is there. And then I got this unit from Ikea. I really like these cube units. It's very similar to the TV unit I have in the living room. But on here I just keep... These are some little toys that she's... Uh, she doesn't really play with these anymore. But I like to keep them because she used to really like them. This, you actually pull this out and it vibrates and jingles when you, when you stretch his body out. She used to really love that when she was a newborn. It was a good distraction when we changed her nappy so I thought that would be quite nice to keep this was a birthday present and then she's got some little stackables there they all come out and stack up and some sunglasses there and then down here we've got her little money jar we put her little pennies in and that says on there save your pennies in this pot and make a wish or two that one day when you're all grown up, it makes your dreams come true. Which that's lovely. And then in here we've got just these little white holders that from IKEA. So in this one I've got all her, her hair bands and hair bubbles and clips. But if you've seen my daughter, she still has no hair. And she doesn't let me put headbands on. The minute I put a headband on her head, she just whips it straight back off. So... I think there's going to be a long while before I need those. And there's another one back here that's just got a few random bits and bobs in. Down here. This is um, a keepsake. Uh, this was in her bedroom previously as well. This was made by the lady at Sock Creations. And this was made from her sleep suits from when she was newborn as well. Um, which was absolutely lovely. I cried when I got this. It was absolutely beautiful. I say the lady is absolutely amazing and then we've got her some books and some more books and yes daddy is a marvel fan so is mummy so we read her some marvel stories and then on the other side going upwards we've got just some more nappies in there and just her health record in there some more books and then Nana made this for her. This was for her birthday. So we've got all of the British coins all laid out in the shape of a queue, which was a brilliant idea. Some more books. And then on this shelf, we've got, this is a keepsake book. Um, actually, it's like got little drawers in, so it's not really a book. But in there, it's got like my first mittens. It's got her hospital bracelet in there and some little booties, which is really nice. And then these some little gifts that she got for Christmas and birthday. So you've got my first curl, my first tooth, and she's got some little ballet, some little ballet shoes there, and a little dummy, and a little rocking horse. They're so cute, I love them. So, and then on the floor down here we have the Snuggle Bunny rug. Down there, which is lovely. And then this is just a toy that we play with in here when she's, um, when I'm in here tidying up, she can play with this. Just because you run out of room in the living room with uh, so many toys. So yeah, this is... Quinn's book.
country. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. If you've got any questions or you want to know anything about anything that we've got in here, then feel free to ask and I'll try and answer your questions. But thank you for watching. Bye.